everyone today we'll be learning about stromatolites and what they are first coming to the definition of stromatolites they are layered accretionary structures formed in shallow water by trapping binding and cementation of sedimentary grains by microorganisms especially cyanobacteria commonly known as blue green algae so cyanobacteria they form a sticky film of mucus in this mucus the sediments get trapped binded and cemented to form the layers of a stromatolites and gradually the layers of the stromatolites they grow and they become larger in nature next coming to the age of stromatolite so around 3.5 billion years ago the stromatolites they they dominated source around the world and thus they provide some of the most ancient records of life on earth by fossil remains which date back more than 3.5 billion years these are few micro images of cyanobacteria or blue green algae they are elongated in nature the form and structure of algae sets them apart from plants although algae and plant both contain chlorophyll and photosynthesize algae do not have a actual root system leaves or plants unlike sorry root system stem or leaves unlike the plants thus they are the most simplest form of plants so in all the pictures previously we that we have seen in this presentation we have seen that the stromatolites are domal shaped so in order to capture as much sunlight as possible the shape of the top of the structure tended to be curved so here we can see the top part is curved so that there was maximum exposure to the sun okay also if we take a cross section of the stromatolites we will find this internal layers which will be parallel and bowed towards the top because the round uh, surface of the stromatolites was oriented towards the sun now coming to the importance of stromatolites stromatolites photosynthesize they use the sun's energy to make food as the stromatolites absorb sunlight they are able to break the chemical bonds in water releasing oxygen at first this free oxygen reacted with the iron rich water to create iron oxides which form the bands of iron ore that is mined today eventually all the iron in water was combined with oxygen but stromatolites kept producing oxygen as a by product of photosynthesis it and it was this oxygen that began to increase the concentration of o2 in the atmosphere this led to the great oxidation oxygenation event which increased the level of atmospheric oxygen producing ozone layer helping to protect the earth from harmful cosmic rays the increased oxygen permitted more biological diversification and speeded up the radiation of eukaryotes and evolution of multicellular life forms in short all we can say is that stromatolites were the early plants which helped to increase the concentration of oxygen in the atmosphere so they played a major role in the great oxygenation event which led to the evolution of multicellular life forms 
lastly here we have a picture of modern stromatolites which are mostly found in hypersaline lakes and marine lagoons where there are extreme conditions due to high saline levels and prevent animal grazing as they prevent animal grazing though so the stromatolites can survive there and one such excellent modern specimen or one such location is found in Hamlin Pool Marine Nature Reserve, Shark Bay in Western Australia. That's all for this presentation. Thank you.